Hello, hello, and welcome to the channel. We are here today with the team at Universal Yachting to have a look at this rather splendid Dufour 470. Now, just while we are outside, I just want to point out this hull, the hull windows here, simply because they put so much light inside, it makes it really, really light and bright. And again, same with the superstructure windows. It's not uncommon when you're deep in the hull of a, of a yacht for it to be quite dark but these are so modern and so brilliant the way they've designed them starting with the uh, Dufour folding platform so you see a little bit of room in there for a life raft and then down here we've also got access to the swim ladder and you can't sit here but that whole section there is a massive two-part lazarette and again you can see here that seat's folded down with the guidelines guide rails clipped out and that one is folded up so you can gain access if you wanted to through either side but what you don't often find on a yacht which i absolutely love as i do do like a barbecue is i fold that forwards like so Oop. there you go you have a barbecue grill in here and a little sink so if i take a step back off again you can effectively sit there bathing platform you can have your feet in the water beer in hand other drinks are available whilst you barbecue. How neat is that? I just fold that back. I can do it with one hand, bear with me. Fold that back and we will climb on board this side. Big, big manual bilge pump down there, two helm stations as is common with yachts these days. And this is unusual though because both of these are master stations. So you've got under here bow and stern proportional hydraulic thrusters, rain marine equipment, throttle and then a really good view down the port side great big cockpit area massive folding out table there with a fridge I'll see if I can get a picture and drop it in with that table up lots and lots of seating space lockers on both sides so there's a no there's not a lock on both sides I'm lying the locker on this side let's pop that cushion back up so there's a locker in there there's another little rope locker down there. There's access to that locker down there. And there's a big, as I mentioned earlier, big lazarette. So if I lift this up here, there is a big two-part lazarette. So that's the first part. If you want to, you can lift up the floor and get pretty much access space to the entire rear section of the yacht. It is absolutely vast down there. And then over this side, on the starboard side, we have the starboard helm station pretty much a repeat of the other side so bow and stern thrusters rain marine equipment here throttle controllers wheel access to all the winches and then a really great view forward down the starboard side of the boat what a beautiful cockpit area and it can be completely covered with uh, bimini's right the way through nice big set that sort of big arch on the back here where you could put if you wanted to paddle boards or anything you fancy even canoes probably you might tell me off for saying that but hey there you go so a walk forward we noticed that there is light coming in through the windows there and the window in there as well big decent spray hood here Actually, probably let's go around the outside before it rains on us super wide side decks nice and clear all the lines running down the sides side access out the uh out the rail there and again, nice to see flush fitting deck hatches and this massive panel of glazing here with these two openers really does flood down below with light. We go right the way forwards. You'll also notice that there's another little window in there. There's a couple of deck hatches either side and then three big flush deck hatches forwards. Takes us right the way up to the anchor handling gear with the cleats and then you've got the anchor neatly tucked under the dolphin nose there. Oh, I've got myself caught. Here we go. So there you go. That's a look back. And that is the mast up there. So we pop back down this side. Again, massive side decks. Really a surprising amount of open space for a yacht. Really cleverly designed. Takes us back down here, past the winches. One step in, takes us back into the cockpit and we'll go and head into the saloon.
great big saloon area here. As is the way with yachts, you do definitely disappear into it. But as I mentioned before, once you get in here, it's very, very light and bright. I mean, yes, it's a slightly sunny day, but it is winter or autumn and the weather's pretty naff, but it's still flooded with light. Again, whole window down there, superstructure windows running right the way across, and that big section of glazing the superstructure, flooding light in. So anyway, back to the tour, back to the tour. Massive dining area over there. This seat moves around depending on where you want it. There's storage under all of those units there and a really clever little design to the way this table folds out. So you fold out bits of it as you want. It's then also electrically hydraulic or electrically up and down, whatever the technical phrase is. So you can lift the table up, drop it down. Equally, it pivots round, so you can turn it the other way around. And also you can drop that down and make it a pretty decent double bed if you wanted. TV's on the wall over there. More storage down in here, like that. Tons of storage. I won't open every locker because once you've seen a locker, you kind of get the idea of it. Locker in there. That runs all the way down the side there, right the way around through the two-part kitchen, right the way down the other side down here, where we then have our switch panel, VHF radio, and controls for the Fisher Panda generator. And again, another fantastic hole window. Seating on this side as well. And then a couple of steps forward takes us to this galley area. So port side, we have the cooker. Obviously this section lifts up to give you access to gas hob. You can have a fridge in there if you want, but at the moment it's just storage. And then two really decent sinks. One in there and a second one in there, which is really clever. So this can effectively become your draining board. And then two taps, one for fresh water, one for salt water. Lots of storage underneath here. Oh, bin, tell the Bin in there, more storage in there. And over the other side, we then have two decent size pull-out fridges. Love pull-out fridges. I mean, geez, it's the great thing about pull-out fridges, there's nothing stuck at the back. That looks like it might be a freezer, that one. And also, if you wanted to, in here is a bottle rack, but you can have that as a TV if you haven't opted to have it on the wall over there. So as we're facing astern, let's do the back end of the boat first. So two double cabins, and again, the layouts, you can chop and change these layouts as you like to a certain extent, but this is three cabin two heads. We'll start on the shared heads for the aft two cabins and the day head to a certain extent. I know people won't like it being called a day head but it can be used during the day. Lovely separate shower, beautifully molded Corian sink, conventional loo down there. Again nice light area, mirrors in here and I'm guessing that one of these, there you go, is storage for your toothbrush. Love the way they've concealed in the uh, back of the sink there, back of the tap. So that's the shared heads for these cabins and the saloon. A couple of steps back takes you into this pretty decent size, full width of the cabin, double berth. Again, you can see there's a cushion here, but you'll get light through there, light through that deck hatch, light through that superstructure hatch over there and the hull window. Plenty of storage dotted around the cabin with this big wardrobe in here. There's a couple of little storage lockers in there and the same sort of thing dotted around in here really deep. And they run, as you can see, all the way around there and at the back and over there at the side. And it's quite nice also, you've got an inboard window here so you can get that open if you're at sea or you're sailing without having to open the side windows or if it's raining, it's a protected window. A little bit of access through here to the engine bay and the same, I think, battery access down there. We'll have a quick look at the engine on the way out. Back into that fabulously light and airy and super beamy saloon. Takes us back across into the other cabin. Again, very similar format, really. Fast bed. You could almost sleep in that either way, depending on how tall you are. 
lots and lots of headroom as you step in. And I'm just over one meter seven and look, I've got plenty of headroom in here. And again, the same format with the light flooding into those windows, similar format with access, part access to the engine bay. And then in here, we've got a bit of storage and some electronic equipment light switches and chargers down there but really can I take a step back out actually surprising amount of floor space and dressing space so you don't have to sort of falling over the bed hull window over there and more hanging and locker space in there really good fit and finish to these boats I have to say I've seen a few of them now and I'm really impressed so back to our lovely open saloon Nice to see the way they've illuminated these areas. As I say, you pointed out before, but you can see there's lots of storage over there. That takes us through into the master cabin, which is absolutely vast. Center line bed. Again, lots of light through those hull windows. Plenty of headroom as you walk in. One meter seven again. And then plenty of storage dotted around the place. Big cupboard in there. Storage right the way through there, little nooks in there, bedside lights, big mirror, flowering light back into the cabin. There's another window under here, more storage over that side, more storage again in this wardrobe over this side, like so. And again, it's quite nice, even though it's a really big bed, you have got steps and access to get yourself into bed quite easily without climbing from the foot of the bed. And then the ensuite. So again, similar format to the other heads, beautiful molded Corian sink, lovely flush fitted tap, mirror and storage. And then this section here, you can see this here, this folds out like so, we get the right way around, to close that off like so, so you can have a shower without getting all the other bits and pieces wet. Lovely stylish shower there. Beautiful wooden floor. And then that, when you're not showering, he says, that then folds itself back in over there. Like that. So yeah, really nice shower room. Quick peek back at that fantastic master cabin. And the surprise thing is, we've obviously you'll notice there's no loo in that shower because it's separated in this unit here, which is really neat. So separate heads in there, same molded sink. Again, beautifully stylish hidden sink, hidden tap, sorry. There is a pull out shower and this is a shower room as well if you wanted it to. It has a self-draining floor, but just really nice. All of these heads have got their own showers so which is really just a, such a neat layout so before we go let's just have a quick peek at the engine i'll be brutally honest i don't know what the horsepower is of this so i'll have to drop it in to the video when i edit it later but it's definitely a volvo penta looks like it's a d2 and again great access you can see the uh, raw water filter over there fuel filter down the back side battery in here really really great access lovely installation and really easy to get hold of. So I'll just fold that down. I will leave you with a last view of this fantastic space down here and say thank you very much for Joe and the team at Universal Yachting for letting us have a look round. And I would ask you to like if you liked it and please subscribe. Yeah, I get loads of people watching these videos but very few people seem to be subscribing. So thanks for your time and I will look forward to seeing you next time round.